Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be covering the top six entry-level certifications for breaking into IT. But before we get into just rattling off the certs, I kind of want to red pill you a little bit on certification. Normal people might think like, okay, like I have A+, plus, now it's time to go get a job or something like this. And it sometimes works like that, but that's not always how it works. Basically, certifications can help of one or two areas or both, essentially. So the first area being they will help you get an interview. So if it's a certification, the HR, for instance, really knows about that can help you get an interview. And then the other kind of useful part of certs is they actually will help you pass the interview and help you do well on your job. So the, there's the HR filter certs and then there's actual skill certs. And if the cert is really good, right, you can have points in both of these areas. Like it can help you with HR and it can actually be really useful for when you actually start working. So for my list of six certs, I'm going to have three that are really useful for HR, in my opinion and then three certs that are really useful for developing your technical skill and kind of rounding you out as a technology professional. So hopping right into the list of certs that I think will help you a lot in getting an interview. So number three on that list is going to be CompTIA A+. Most people watching this probably know that it is super, super ubiquitous. A lot of people have it. There's tons of job hits for it on Indeed and LinkedIn. And it's just not a bad cert to have on your resume when you're trying to flag for HR and actually get that interview. The second cert on the list that will help you get interviews that HR likes to see as an entry-level person is going to be CCNA, that is Cisco Certified Network Associate. CCNA is really good. In my opinion, it's just the cert in and of itself is probably one of the best entry-level cert overall because it has a lot of technical depth and everybody knows what CCNA is. It's just really, really good to have. And I have CCNA and it's probably one of the best certs I've ever gotten. Networking pretty much serves as the backbone of technology and it's just good to have HR loves it. And number one, in my opinion, for HR is the Course Careers IT certification. Obviously, I would say this because I'm the instructor for Course Careers and it's not like having the Course Careers IT certification in and of itself is going to really impress HR because it's kind of new but the curriculum that goes into the cert is designed to make you appeal to HR in all kinds of ways, including your resume, portfolio, projects, how to pass ATS, how to pass interview. Not only does the cert have a decent technical depth, it's designed to make you appeal to HR. I've had a whole bunch of success with this program. So check out these testimonials. There's also a free intro to this course in the description, so check that out. So that is the three best certs for dealing with HR. Number one, IT course careers. Number two, CCNA, number three, CompTIA A+. And before hopping into the technical certs, like which certs are best from a technical standpoint, let's take a quick break for the sponsor of this video, FlexiSpot. These desks are super, super good. I didn't realize what I was missing out on, but my particular one is a FlexiSpot E4 standing desk, 78 by 30 inches with a black frame and bamboo desktop but you can totally customize your own desk with whatever size, color, or frame you want. It's really, really nice. These are standing desks, so that's super, super nice. I actually don't even have a chair right now because I just moved back to the US, but it's totally height adjustable, it has two motors, and it's super, super strong. This is the keypad, it has a memory functionality, so you can set different profiles for different heights for if you're sitting or standing or someone else is using it, it's pretty good. This desk is super, super stable. I'm really picky about that and I don't like flimsy, wobbly, cheap feeling desks. And this desk is super good. I'm 38 years old now and I tend to have a lot of back problems, but I've kind of been forced to stand and use this desk since I don't even have a chair yet because I just moved and I noticed it makes a huge difference. I don't think I'm actually going to even buy a chair after having this desk and using it because it's just so comfortable and my back feels so much better. I, I didn't really know what it meant to have an actual quality desk because I always would buy cheap desks from Craigslist or something, but this is a seriously grown up desk. I highly recommend. So getting right back to the content, number three certifications in terms of helping your technical ability. So number three is kind of a tie between the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner and then the Azure Fundamentals AZ900 cert. These are good because they introduce you to cloud computing and if you are diligent, you can kind of take your time and look through the different cloud environments like the different AWS portals and Azure portals 
And it's just really good to kind of prime yourself and kind of give yourself that initial exposure to cloud environments. And it could give you something to talk about during the interview, which is really good as well. And number two on the list is going to be the Google IT Support Professional Certification. It's really, really affordable and through Coursera. And the curriculum is really, really nice. I kind of went through it a little bit. I'm really impressed with how they delivered the material. And it's really relevant as well. It's more narrow in scope than CompTIA Plus. And they kind of included the things that they felt are most important. And I think Think they just did a really good job with that cert. So number two, Google IT support professional. And then for number one, in terms of technical ability, I kind of hesitated to say CCNA again, but I have to tie it with CCNA and then also the course careers IT course. But let me kind of explain why that is a little bit. CCNA in terms of technical skill, I know I said it already in terms of HR, but it's also really, really good for technical ability as well. It goes super deep. And after getting CCNA, I had a really good idea of how networks functioned and I had enough knowledge to actually go and configure a router and configure switches and, and build a topology that made sense that I could run services over and actually use. So CCNA, really, really good for technical ability. It's super broad, but also super deep as well. And the reason I say this ties with the Course Careers IT course Definitely CCNA is more broad than the course careers IT course and it takes way longer to get. But the reason I kind of put the IT course next to CCNA is because it picks a few topics and goes relatively deep in them that are really, really relevant to working in entry level IT. And it also covers all those different areas that kind of helps you with the actual act of getting a job. It's not just technical skill. It covers interview ability, portfolio, resume, in terms of humans and ATS. It just covers all of these different areas that helps you get a job really, really fast. So for instance, to, to even get CCNA, three months is pretty fast, I would say. But for people graduating course careers, I've had people finish the course in three weeks and then get a job two to three weeks later. So the technical depth is more in CCNA, but you can get a job faster with the course careers IT course. If you're wondering like, oh, I want to get into IT, what's the, the fastest, most painless way to actually get into tech? I would personally recommend just going through the Course Careers IT course. And then when you finish that, while you're applying to jobs, supplement that with the Google IT support certification. You can't go wrong with that and you're definitely going to end up getting a job. Yeah, thanks for watching.